Hello everybody, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Ricky Maru and Skyrim. We are literally picking up exactly where the last video left off, where I was jabbering on about Far Cry, and Mass Effect, and other such crap, and built some bandits to kill this bitch. And that is the beginning of the Dark Brotherhood questline, we now get to go all the way back to Falkreath. You know, fuck that, where's a carriage? <laughs> It's technically fast travel. Yeah, it's not fast travel. You have to pay for it. That's my logic, and I'm sticking to it. As it now occurs to me, I am not sure if there actually is a stable out here. Ah. Oh, boy. This actually might be a long trek back. Oh, boy. Or at least until I get to the next freaking town. Is there really not a I mean... There's gotta be a carriage, right? Because... What the hell's going on here? No! Not this again! Not this again! Okay. I'm okay. Uh, so, yeah, have poisons and stuff now. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Anyway, yeah. That, um, believe it or not, happened to me the last time I was in Dawnstar, too. Didn't like it then either. Wasn't there another one? Or did I just not kill that? One, I don't. I don't know. I. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. That was quick. I have a letter here for you. Looks like that's it. I've got to go. Okay, thank you. You usually give me more information than that. Who the hell is Leek Elf? I know you killed her, don't worry. I won't tell anyone. In fact... Can't sleep well, no... How much drink I put in me. Um... Um... <coughs> Carriage! Right, we're, um... We're gonna go ahead and find us a bloody carriage. Um, as I question everything that I just went through. From that and other things. Frost took my husband years ago. That's nice, I don't care. I'm really curious who Lee Elf is. I don't remember a League Elf. I work in the mine just like everyone else. Yeah, but I like everyone else, you're actually kind of attractive. Um, that's Rust Leaf. Fuck his leg off. Oh. Well, I found their house. I don't know what that does me. Where the shit is the frickin' stable? And the frickin' carriage, and the frickin'. Let's look over that real quick. Iron break of mind. Iron. You don't say. Shocker. Okay, screw it. We're just gonna run. Because I literally have no idea where the carriage down here is. I would like assume it. I'm just miners. I don't want any trouble. Yes, thank you. Wait. Fuck. I would assume it'd be like right here or something. You know? Some place where it's just kind of like there. And yet it's not. Okay. There's vampires and someone that somehow magically knows I just killed that woman. Literally moments after I killed that woman. I'm not sure how I feel about that. 
I was worried. Oh, there's a perk to not run out of stamina when you're running. But then this would be closer to Far Cry and I wouldn't like it as much. There's two videos now where I'm dissing on Far Cry. I don't mean to. It is They are fun games. The gameplay is always great. But I kind of feel like they are falling into the same trend that Assassin's Creed did where... When they make another sequel, they're adding like one new thing every once in a while. Or in every game, I guess. Unless they're just shit out of ideas, in which case they go, okay, no, we're doing... Oh, shit! Why? Why? What'd I do? Why? No! 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 Ow! Fucker! Ow! Fucker! I'm going to die. Oh god, am I going to die? I keep forgetting I have poisons. Attacked by a goddamn Imperial out of fucking nowhere. Who are you and please be friendly? Never fucking mind. <sighs> My eek the liar. I don't think we've met him in this stream yet. Or this blah playthrough. But anyone who knows Elder Scrolls knows I'm Eek the Liar. A wonderful Khajiit that seems to be immortal and can run faster than the bloody wind. And as his name suggests, more often than not, lies. Except in Skyrim, I notice. He actually... What was that? Oh. I was worried. Was. Ooh, I get poisons. I'll take your venom. Shame I can't make something better out of that. What was I saying before I got sidetracked by an Imperial? Right, Far Cry. Again, because I'm doing that for two videos. Right, because they were doing the exact same thing as Assassin's Creed was, where every sequel they introduced like one new feature in a completely different landscape, though it's still kind of the same thing. Only the recent Assassin's Creed have been doing that. I have yet to play Origins. I have it. I just haven't got around to playing it. I expect many good things, and I also expect a lot of what I found in... I keep trying to say Unity, but I don't want to count that as an Assassin's Creed game, because... My god, that game was... I'm going the wrong way. As an Assassin's Creed game, it was a very interesting take. I guess would be the kind way of saying it. The bad way and the honest way of saying it is... Wow! Really went overboard with loot box idea. What is attacking me? Ow! Wow, that actually hit me. That's different. Nope. Good night. To the point where... They gave you a wider variety of customizable options, right? But you had to pay for them. And again, it's Assassin's Creed, so... Getting money in that game? Generally not hard, you just need to dedicate yourself to it a little bit, but if you're impatient like I was... You could also just pay real money for fake in-game money, where you could buy all the wonderful gear you needed. Because, wow, there's a lot of spiders out tonight. Ow, you motherfucker. I'm getting used to that now. I really need to fucking up my light armor somehow. I need to find a trainer. At least I think that was Unity. Was that Unity? I want to say yes. Hmm. 
I'm assuming it's yes. As my phone goes off for some reason. You there, a traveler! Over here! Why... Do I not trust you? That's why. Uh, how close is my light on? Ooh, yeah, okay, so we are not going to try that. We are going to just go ahead and snipe a bitch. Yeah, those aren't actually Vigilance Stendar. I've encountered this before in different playthrough of this. Death. Yeah, these assholes. Yeah, vampires. Vampires dressed up as visions of frickin' Stendar. That's dirty. That's wicked dirty. And also the reason why I usually forget that I don't want to travel around here at night. You figure. I meant to, yeah, do that. Oy. Thankfully, back to that conversation, Assassin's Creed definitely fixed it by kind of going in the opposite route. It's like, yes, you could just outright buy all the wicked gear and all that right at the get-go and all that. But it was anywhere near as taxing just to get money to do it yourself. No, I think I was maxed out before I even beat the game. Shit, I think I was maxed out before I even got, uh... Halfway through it. Oh my god, Falkreath, you're so far away! Where's the nearest town? Oh no. Oh. I have not even discovered... Oh. I'm assuming this is a road. We're going south. Let's keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, God. Why did I make a fast travel rule? That was dumb of me. Hmm. And I'm really hoping that Assassin's Creed Origins gives me that back while throwing me into a full plot line of, oh, gee, I don't know, Assassin's Creed 2? Only in Skyrim will you see that. This big old spire charging down an elk. Rippy. Huh? And wolves. Everywhere I go, no matter where I go. Oh no. Sorry, did not mean okay, fuck this, we're going through the woods. Dick of you a-holes later. Let's keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Because Assassin's Creed one, two, Brotherhood, Revelations, and all that. Basically the expansion packs to Assassin's Creed 2. We're all good. Like Brotherhood kind of threw me off because I'd hate... Ooh. That's a giant camp I just realized I was wandering into. That's not good. Um, Brotherhood took a bit of time for me to actually get into because I didn't enjoy the fact that I put in the classic video game trope of you're still this character, but you lost everything you worked for for insert BS reason here. I don't even know if I'm going in any right direction anymore. I am so lost. Where is this? Wait, this looks familiar. 
this? Maybe it is. There's a quest with uh, the Mage's Guild that sends you to an old ruin. I'm trying to remember if that was it or not. I don't think it is. I think that's north. I again, I have no idea. Okay, I'm kind of going in the right direction. But yeah, it took me a while to get into it. But it was good when I did. And Revelations was a... It's a game that's amazing until you think about it like I just did. Fucking spiders again. God, I kind of want vampires back. You're hardier than your other buddies. Yay, my light armor went up. Perfect. I'm going to die by this. Oh, God. I almost died from that. That's not good. I really need to invest in my armor skills. Badly. Revelations was a good game in its own right. Like, they're all good games in their own right, except Unity. We don't count that one. Not that one. Syndicate is definitely fun, though. You basically become steampunk Batman. Which I dug. You don't get the grappling hook, which I dug. A lot. Yeah, puppy, puppy, puppy. Well, bam Gotta get that snake. Cause I'm all about that sneak. All about that sneak. No shields. Fuck am I? I'm traveling so far for a freaking carriage, I'm pretty sure there is one in Dawnstar. I'm just too lazy to go look for it. I wasted enough time dicking with that and the vampires. Alright, go ahead and yeah, discover that real quick. I don't remember this road. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I was honestly debating if I wanted to keep doing a Ricky Mario playthrough, especially since I'm playing Ricky Maru in not one but two games now. Granted, I'm expecting Ricky Maru to die in one of those games. Horribly so. Because we rolled for stats, and he rolled above average at best. And, oh. Oh, hi. Can I help you? No? Okay. Have an arrow. You want another one? There, have another one. You want an arrow too? Ow. Ow. Please sit down. Also, ow. I am constantly tempted to bust out that bloody kunai. Ooh, lockpick. I need that. And you are very dead. That it? Brigand and but this talk of dragons? World's gone mad, I say. What dragons? Wait, have I done the dragon thing yet? I did I visit Helgen in this one? I did visit Helgen. Katana out here, but oh, I'm the bitch about a free lockpick skill. Not where I was going with that comment, but that is what happened. Damn it! The stealing. That's stealing for some. That's not stealing. God might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapons on. Man, if I was the monk I wanted to be, you wouldn't even see me coming. Ninja. Meant to say ninja. Said monk. Dungeons and Dragons. Random dude walking... down... I'm on a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azura, the Goddess of Twilight, if you'll excuse me. 
in the mountains to the northeast. I'll mark it on your map. Oh. I was about to say, didn't we do that already? No, that was in the footage I couldn't upload because... Fuck me. Ah. I love how most... What was that? Y'all heard that too, right? I'm not going crazy? I'm probably going crazy. Yeah, most of this video is getting to a major city to get onto a carriage so I can go turn in the damn quest, and that's probably going to be the video. I mean, once again, talking about Far Cry, Assassin's Creed 2. Like, specifically, Assassin's Creed 2. <laughs> Great game series until they started trying to chug out a game every year and then it just kind of went to hell. Like, the original plot line kind of died on 3. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will not spoil it for you. For those that do know what I'm talking about, you see what I did there. I'm really curious on what the hell they're thinking with the direction they're going with it now, though. Like, okay, so you're just... Are you even the same guy in Black Flag and... What is it? Yes, Rogue. It was also Rogue. Black Flag, Rogue, and uh, Community and Ascension. That's nice. Where do you want to go? I would like to go to Falkreath. Climb and back and we'll be off. Oh Jesus. <laughs> but yeah, like It's almost getting downright hot now. Fuck you. <laughs> the first three games had a very intriguing storyline and it felt like it was building to something more. And then a CEO or a director or somebody high up the chain kind of went like, you know what, no, fuck that, because then we have to end the game series with the next one. No, screw that. Throw out the window, blah, blah, blah. We're going to keep this going. We're going to keep making money off of it. And thanks to microtransactions from cell phone apps and cell phone games and mobiles, everyone came up with the idea of loot boxes, and that's how most companies make their... Goddamn money now. <sighs> you know, I I complain about that a lot, like anyone that's ever dealt with it. At the same time, a very dark pool of water. I understand it because one of the major problems with video game industries is uh, pirating. I mean, these days you can literally find any game on the internet. And it's... For newer games, it's really illegal, but for, say, older generation games like uh, Super Nintendo, fuck, I think you can even get away with it on PlayStation and Xbox games now. If you had the original copy of the game, you're fine. If you did not have the original copy of the game, though, that was pirating. You're taking away money from that company, and it's illegal. Yeah. I like how it gives me a maskless version, and it never works. The Night Mother is mother to all. It is her voice we follow, her will. Would you dare risk disobedience? And surely, punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero. I, for one, am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Sure to earn our lady's favor. 
You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Keeper. Understood, husband? Huh. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Ah, uh, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool I anyway. There's a clown. Some business to discuss. It's the part with the severed head I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. Certainly. I got other contracts to earn, though. Ugh. That creeps me out. I got everyone's talking about the people they killed, like it's just casually. Will there ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer need our services? I think not. You have training light armor. I'll teach you how to use it effectively and keep you quick on your feet. Like without question. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Here's your payment. The dude actually was a hobo? You've got people? I see you're back from dawn. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails. Your payment. Your job well done. You ever get the feeling you're being jerked around? Of course she is. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours, the murder. I could do this all day. I hate this man. Here's your payment. I really hate this man. <sighs> I don't like mimes, minstrels, thespians. Acrobats, jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. I'll say. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. I'm sorry I don't. Come see me again later. Thank you for being worthless. Anyway. Let me guess. Astrid failed to mention I'm her husband. She has a tendency to do that. Me, Doesn't want the others thinking she plays true. favorites. Anywho. Oh, you're the shadow scale, dude. I mean, I suppose you attack it from the back is the way to go for the Dark Brotherhood, but still. Anyway, I think that's about all the time we have. Ugh. Gonna go. I do this so. I almost hit load again. I don't know why I keep trying to do that. Yeah, let's see. Uh, of course, it doesn't have a timer on my recording. That kind of blows. Oh well. Well. Did some traveling, did a bunch of BS, talked about more video games, 
Pretty sure that's going to be par for the course during traveling segments where there's nothing going on because I don't fast travel. Because I was an idiot, I made the fucking rule about it. I really need a capture card. I can show you guys some real fun stuff. But sadly, I don't. And that's in the works, but it's still a ways away. Ah, I do hope you all enjoyed this. And if you did enjoy it, you're watching from Twitch, be it from a premiere or from just going through my archives, by all means, throw me a follow, see some more. And hopefully some authentic Dungeons and & Dragons. And hopefully in the future, something better than whatever I pull out of my ass with OBS and the happen I have, the fact I have Skyrim. <laughs> That's way down the line. If you are watching from YouTube, though, be sure to like, share, and subscribe because I need an excuse to keep putting these on YouTube, I guess. I know the fact I just like showing myself off and I like BSing to the camera. I think that's the entire point of a Let's Play in YouTube. I digress. Hope you had fun. Ah. <sighs> It's almost 1.30 in the morning. I should probably get to sleep. <laughs> Till next time, kids. Take care now. Bye-bye then.